Hello, hello, year four. Time for our math lesson. Lesson 13, unit two. And to all the parents in advance, I'm very sorry. This lesson involves a lot of cutting out. So I'm very sorry in advance. Okay, you'll have a couple of things in front of you. You will have this slideshow, which I'll be playing on the screen, and you will have this sheet titled Tangram, which is basically the same as the one you would have done yesterday. And this sheet called Tangram Pictures. So let's do a run through. Lesson 13, Creating Combined Shapes. First of all, there in the top corner is the YouTube video. Okay, it is called Four Times Table Song. So if you want to exit this video and have a watch of that first, you are welcome to do so. Here's our walt for the day. We are learning to manipulate tangram pieces to investigate and construct combined shapes. So manipulate just means we're using the tangram pieces to create a new shape. What I'm looking for, can you combine tangram pieces to make those new shapes? So in this lesson you'll be creating composite shapes using the pieces of the tangram puzzle. First though, let's see what you remember about the properties of shapes within a tangram. So a tangram is a square puzzle created by the ancient Chinese. It consists of five or seven shapes called tans. This is not on your worksheet, I believe. But in the table provided, it says describe the properties of each shape found within the tangram. So you can do this in your maths book or on a piece of paper. What you need to do is just write the word or split your book into two columns. Write the word shape on one side and properties on the other. And then rule that in half. That should look like that. Now if I look at the first shape, I'm going to just try my best. You guys if you've got access, you should probably use a ruler. So I'm just going to draw the first shape. Okay. I can see it's got four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. But it's not a regular quadrilateral. Okay, it's an irregular shape. Now remember the properties of, a sh of shapes. You've probably done this over the years. We're looking for things like edges, sides, angles, and whether the shape is regular or irregular. So the first shape on the screen over here, I'm going to count how many edges it has or corners. So it has one, two, three, four. So I'm going to write four edges. I'm going to count the sides. One, two, three, four. So I'll write four sides. I'm going to count the angles. They are the little areas or spaces in here. One, two, three, four. Four angles. Now I spell it A N G L E not A-N-G-E-L, that would be angel. We don't want four angels, do we? Now, as I said before, the shape is irregular because the sides are not equal, are they? And they're also at different angles. They're not at a square angle, which we call a right angle. So there you go. There's the work that I've done for the first one. So I want you to pause the video.
and give yourself a refresher on the properties of each of those shapes. Off you go. Here we go. Here's the fun part. You're going to now cut up your tangram. Then, once you've cut up the tangram, you're going to list the three different shapes that you find in those in that tangram. You're going to list those. You're going to again draw a table in your book with tangram shapes and shape properties. Exactly the same as this, except tangram shapes, shape properties. You're then going to draw or write down the name of each of the shapes and write down the properties. How many edges? How many sides? How many angles? And whether the shape is regular or irregular. Okay? This could take you a while because you have to cut out the shape and then you have to record the shapes. So, you may get started. Pause the video and good luck. Okay, that might have taken you a bit of time. The next thing you have to do is as follows. You will need your tangram pieces on sheet 10, which looks like that. These can be rearranged to make lots of different pictures. So rearrange the tangram pieces to make as many different pictures as you can. Use that sheet as a guide. Okay? So take those pieces, you can cut them out, and then you can see if you see if you can join them together to make different pictures and then you can pick your favorite and draw it in your math exercise book or your operations book good luck pause the video and give that a go remember that if you have any questions at all what i want you to do is write them down okay bring them to the live stream tomorrow we will do a live stream at 9 30 on Friday the 1st of May. Bring your questions with you and you can comment them to me and I'll answer them for you. Okay? Pause the video and give that a go. Okay, now, last part of the lesson. So there's two questions here. It says, which you can answer in your math book. It says, did you sometimes have to change your first choice of tangram piece? So explaining what you did. B. Why do tangram pieces need to all be polygons? Remember, polygons are closed shapes. Okay? Simply what a polygon is. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that math lesson. I hope you had a bit of fun with those shapes and I hope you made some interesting creations. If you would like to send me some of your creations with the that you made with the tangrams, I might make that into a collage and show off some of my favourite ones in the next math video. Happy learning. Good luck. Make sure you spread the word about the live stream tomorrow.